how could you move to Nigeria when people are leaving the place like those are the type of comments and questions that I get being a Kenyan who moved here with my family and so far so good I think I learned to adapt and I've fallen in love with the place because God places you where you're supposed to be and that's what I took it as and that's how I'm growing and <laughs> I mean I know you guys will never understand but um, yeah you can move from one African country to the other not just going to America so welcome to my life in Lagos I told you guys I finally got a restock of this and it's what I'm using for my uh, chapel I store the rest in the fridge and wrap it up like this so yeah if you're buying no konamingi this one i didn't have to put in the in a bag Ju, it's not open but once i open i have to put it in a ziplock and then store it inside the fridge it can stay there for as long as you like and then so here we are making chapo i need a bit of some warm water and hapa i'll make some mandazi kidogo so for the mandazi i'm prepping the two unga pamoja ndio nizipike pamoja raka raka it's also some warm water in the middle warm not like a comics so salt kidogo sugar I'm not going to show you an entire process of making chapo but scary kidogo well you can measure then sasa unga chapo is so easy to make by the way if you don't know how to make chapo work a maji work a unga but if you are not sure start with the unga then mwaga maji just mix the solution to the side and then mwagi apondani but do not make kada kada in next week we have a lot we have mr ryan who is going to school at abeba some of it and mandazis as well i need to learn how to make things like croissants so that i can be make, baking more often and as i do this don't forget it I'm supposed to be making lunch i'm sorry about the noise you guys as you make so that you don't screw up okay i'm not sure how clearly you guys can see what i'm doing but hoping that the video is not shaky of course you can see that we need more of the unga to work
a big stage inspiring people to pray and give thanks Cause somehow we made it We're always protected while building our legacy Travel the world Raise baby girls Marry my best friend I know I keep raving about uh, Rene supermarket. That's where I buy most of my things because I feel like it's convenient. And I try to avoid the market because even if I go there, the price is still going to be more or less the same. The tomatoes that I bought here were like 3400 for a, like a paint. That's like the big 2 kg or is it 3 kg somewhere there container. So for me, I feel like once I test, set foot in the market, the prices just change. So I prefer coming here, find everything and then I just buy and go home. I mean... <laughs> Uh, in this life, sometimes you just have to accept the circumstances that you are in. And, and um, there is a variety that is offered here. And most of the times, by the way, when I come to the supermarket, they are stocking up fresh food. And they get most of their food from the north, from Cameroon, from also some, just a few that they import, especially the fruits. They tend to import those ones, but they have a lot of local production. And I just wish that they would take recommendations, maybe just a suggestion box, ask okay. uh, what do you guys want, because it's it's more like I've seen more people in Africa meet to the supermarket than the ever one, because they tend to offer what you ordinarily wouldn't find in other markets in Lagos.
Hey. Hey. Is it? This one is cow. Yep. Uh, if not, it's just pure cow. It mixes with anything else. This one is um, another one. Uh, oh, pop chicken. Pop. Pop. Mm, pop meat. Pink. Pop. Oh, pop. <laughs> so that it doesn't burn my crops because I'm putting it on vegetables. Okay, vegetables. Mm. It will make sense. It will mm. You don't want the crop to just burn. So the price? Uh -uh. No, three thousand. No, they say. Aye. We make this and this burn. Now one buy them. Like a guy, man, guy, man. Came in two five. We want to like. How much is? How much for your plant? Three hundred. Is it in the outdoor? No. Is in the. Oh my. It's a. Aye. This young one. <laughs> the big one. <laughs> you can sell them all much. I guess it's only half. No, we don't have that. Oh, it's cotton. Yes. Mm, yes. This, this, this plus. 
Would you know why this plant does not go well indoors? This one? No, this one is not It's not indoor. No, no, no. Oh, I have mine. It's struggling. It keeps storing water. You're not doing this. Oh. It looks like a It's not in the It's not in the full. It's not in the full. Why don't you run by the guy? That's what we're talking about. I'm done shooting. My makeup is still holding on. It's not as bad. It looks natural ish, kind of. Anyway, let me go and uh, make some dinner very fast. So yeah, come with me. Let's make dinner. I hope this phone will be able to record. If not, I'll use the other camera. So let's go. And this, why are they dying? Uh, I think it's because of the salt. Hmm? That salt. Uh, you put on this one? I uh, put on the sand too. Oh, yeah. Because this one is like your own like... Which is a line. Most of most of them, there, but these ones are not affected. But the this ones, this ones, they listen. Hmm? This one is weak. The plants cannot withstand the salt. That's why it's like the paper. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 I didn't know you were to put on them. I thought it was. This one's we've been performing well already. Do we put the manure? Three manure. I should come and put this. Yeah, so we can put here and then we also mix it. Just like that. Yeah, the first thing. Can I put plenty? Hmm? Can I put plenty? Not too much. Yeah, instead of like me, I'll go back. Oh, I got it. Come on, let's just give them time. My mom told me they take a time to wait. You know, it's been long since I planted them, so I don't even remember how long it took. Last year. week, we planted the last one. Uh, let's wait. Let's wait. Let's wait. Let's wait. Let's wait. Hi, guys, I am ready to go to school to pick up Ryan. I've been late the past few days and I don't want to be late today and then I'll go to the gym thereafter. So these sneakers, I got them from Toy Market and I've realized that if I don't wear them, maybe one day I'll pick them up and then they'll be too small for my feet. My scent of the day is Carolina Herrera, the original. This is one perfume I don't fancy. You know, when I was getting into this perfume, well, I feel like it's too strong for me. And I'm a sweet, sorry, I like sweet, sweet scents. So probably that's why. So I will have to layer this one with something else. Because if I pick it, I can layer it with the Burberry Her Elixir. This is so sweet so i want the sweet scent to linger more i want it to be the signature one so at my pulse areas i'll wear it on the other side when i change the camera but this this smells so good if you are starting out on perfumes consider this one very good actually you can never go wrong with barberry products slightly expensive but what the pain the scent doesn't last <laughs> so long that's one of the issues with barberry 
so you have to reapply anyway let me head out before rain catches me here it's currently 14.06 and pickup is 14.25 so i should be there in the next few minutes let me put this in my purse and then i'll see you guys when i get back We say we were good together guys i just got home and this camera is bothering me now how do i recenter anyway i'll google that everything i bought is over here i'll show you in bits and pieces just bio bio and hey because of living in nigeria is mad so i want to make salmon stir fry i'm done cooking this is the food it looks yummy actually this is salmon we have a peppers over here the red green and yellow 
and orange and also we have broccoli and onions and some spices and rice and the salmon which I fried yeah it's a yummy meal but before I eat let me just show you what I bought so here there is liver which is very very bloody and I have this meat and this so I took two legs and two hands of goat meat at least the meat is not as bloody as the liver so this liver has to drain before I can cut it into smaller pieces and then I have some salmon which I bought here this salmon was about 22,000 and then all these three were 89,700 yeah goat meat and here moving that way because the things are many I got this corn for 3,000 also got here we have broccoli we have peppers uh, which I will check the prices but I know the two two bunches of broccoli were 18,000 and then we have a cabbage here which was about 2,000 and something and inside here we also have these avocados I got like one two three four five and then a few carrots and this thing which I feel like I've not removed it I removed it checked and I'm sure I'm convinced this passion is the local passion and how three passion is 14,747 I do not understand for I see a kg is 34,700 wow I'm shocked I'm shocked that these things three passion I bought 14k Kai anyway the pain i also bought myself a kit kat which i can it's white chocolate i don't do black dark chocolate i will try it a little bit later and then this mosquito repellent it comes with the mosquito that thing you connect and the liquid repellent itself then i got tampons because here i also got this formula the last time i bought it was about 31,000. I'll check the new price because I know the price has gone up and as you can see this is new stock I only use Kenda meal I try to go back to after meal but train is allergic to it I don't know which compound he's allergic to and then here we have some sweet potatoes these are the red sweet potatoes which are very very good very good I'd rather be buying these ones they are tiny because let's see Japata has come up but the good thing is like this small batch was 1300 sorry less than 100 kenya shillings actually 100 kenya shillings for this batch which is still a lot and then i have some kiwi fruits over here i bought rain loves kiwi and kiwi here is very expensive but surprisingly kiwi is very cheap in nairobi because the five kiwi i paid ten thousand five hundred and thirty divide by twelve that is a bit like just below a thousand so i got these two one was about five thousand well four thousand i don't know i'll show you in the video the prices and then i also got this sieve for my ugali flour don't remember the prices and i got this Saviets was it 2k I don't know and another one of the bounty so the bounty I got two then here we have I'm not I'm going in no particular order so I also got this uh, dab you know me and dab now we are besties I got two from Rene because at Ebano they are selling them at a crazily expensive price like these ones were six thousand this was six thousand five hundred this was seven thousand five hundred and ebano they sold it to me you saw me scanning this one which was seven thousand and something the small one the big one is even crazier in price and then i also got this one which is about two thousand and key too and then now i want to try this vaseline vitamin three they said if it has bubbles it's original you can also scan to check 
if it's truly original vitalizing body oil for healthy glowing skin today i decided to also buy a bit of products for my body to feel good and here it is i hope it's focused yeah it smells nice actually but good and here we have this gigantic Woo! I hope you are GMO. Butternut. They were 6,100 for the two of them. So we have this one here. Here, see, I'm okay. And we have the other one. My goodness. This is the other one. Because we start in, it's not like I make butternut soup with them. If I make it, I'll probably eat the soup alone. And I also don't fancy eating soup every day. Then we have bread over here. Two bread, I think. And then we have some cocoa pops for Mr. Ryan. I also got two of these mangoes. Dried mango fruits. Then I got measuring cups because I'm trying to take baking seriously. Need to learn how to make croissant like. Okay. One, two, watermelon. Then we have dania. I got so many because I didn't have any fresh coriander. So these ones I'm just going to wash, slice, and put them in the freezer. And they last me for so long. Then we have rice. We buy this. You've seen it before. Anyway, let me show you for the, my new subscribers. This Indian gate bra. Somebody asked me. On my DMs, which rice I use, I use that one. It's Indian. I'm not sure if Kenya is there. I hope it is at Chandarana. I got myself a shower cup because the other one is a chopper. And when I wash it, sometimes it means now I have to do without a shower cup. Then the other bread is here. We also have these cones. I bought them hoping to make a burger. I added another um, hair turban towel because the other one really did a good job. Bought this Cortex Nighttime something something. I've never tried this once, but let's see how they go. I got two of the mold flakes whites. I got this raisin almond granola. Hey, and granola is expensive. This one was 10k. Me, I was shocked. Your person, a passion, and any woman it would have bought me two good items. I think I'll go back there and complain because there's no way. Because normally, when I buy that much, it costs about I can come with an entire bag. Yeah, passion. But he, ni kama ni so I bought yogurts one, two, three, and two small ones. I also got um, spaghetti. Ryan has been asking me about it because I think kids in school are eating it so he also wants I'll try and introduce him then I bought oats, two different oats one in uh, one in Ebano the other one I got it from Rene just to show you the difference in prices of similar items I also got this rice uh, cereal for baby I want to try it for Rain. Well, Rain is not really a baby baby, but I want to see if he can eat it with a stew or something. Then Blue Band, I didn't get the baking one. So this one will do. Bought oranges, plenty of oranges because we are nursing flus right now. Then I got three almond milk for three of these for Mr. Wyan. And I got myself, myself five of these Dano. And I also got these two for rain. This is a natural milk. Then I saw these two pretty cups. One was $29.50 and I decided why not. So I bought two of them just to see if they will last and hold tea, hot tea. And moving on to some stuff down here, but I also have this nice pajama set for Ryan. I always, if I get a chance, I buy it for buy pajamas for him. 
Then here we have cleaning detergents. Yum. This is yum. For my Kenyan friends who have not seen yum before, this is yum. It's not cassava. Yum is just yum. It's delicious. You can make yum chips. You can boil yum. It's actually nice. I like yum. Okay, first things first, we have this uh, area. I bought this, uh, I hope it's the, this cleaner with bleach. If you are struggling with toilets in Akosumbua and they just don't seem to get clean, use this one like this so if you're struggling with those tough stains or yellow your toilet maybe might look yellow use this one and just scrub it a talker and this comfort fabric softener which i don't remember the price but i just know it's pricey two of these to add on to the other ones i got last time happy got a surface cleaner from astonish and this is the fabric stain remover the, i buy mostly astonish cleaning products because they really they are real i also got astonish flow cleaner there is another big i tried but it didn't work for me so i changed back and then we have these cleaning towels cleaning cloth so you just like rutakama tissue anatomia then we have this uh, for the washing machine and then oxy vanish for clothes and i bought myself two wristbands because my hands have been painful when i'm dreaming i hope it's the correct one but yeah oh i didn't realize that it's two in one anyway so 24.50 for one i also bought this book for mr rain to be Start coloring and this storybook for Ryan is a Bible story Jonah and the whale they have so many Moses yeah and so and so this thing after I bought that when I realized that I should have bought from Rene and not um, Prince Ebano you can see the price there it was expensive there than in that other place and then my face has been breaking out i think maybe i need to mask with this the other one i had i stayed with it for so long i had to dispose because i hardly uh what do you call it use this scrub because sometimes it can make your skin to be too sensitive but i've been using Ghana products they really delivered me from acne so and i think i don't know what's happening but since i started working out it's been back so i bought this one and then i also got this night vitamin c serum i've been saying it and i want to be using the the other black one the charcoal one, during the day and this during um the night i got myself one mask and i also got this little thing which is very expensive the la roche posay antelios uh uv whatever sunscreen anyway that this little thing is forty three thousand nine hundred and ninety. god anyway i needed sunscreen and they were just that pricey so that is pretty much everything i hope i did not leave out something so the meat's eighty nine thousand four hundred you can see it there and then from prince ebano downstairs it cost me 227,127 and then from Prince Ebano upstairs I paid 130,750 and lastly I went to Rene and paid this is from Rene. I paid 247,000 in two naira. So total I paid 130 plus 227 plus 247. How much is it total? I'll put the total value somewhere there, but I know it's way above. 500 almost 600 
actually more than 600 right because there is 89 130 is not enough to last us well most of the things that i bought are enough for the month i didn't buy things like tomatoes i didn't buy potatoes i didn't our milk which is only five they cannot last us for one month ryan's milk cannot last one month and ryan's milk is one of the most expensive things actually because it's blue diamond the three of them were 21,450 farm fresh yogurt is also quite expensive because it's 500 and 150 and then the comfort fabric cleaner is 15,000 like there are so many small small things which I bought last week so if you top it up in a month to be honest it will you will spend quite quite some money these ones most of these things will last us two weeks I didn't buy cooking oil I didn't buy all those like I didn't buy everything so if i had to eat yeah for you to live in lagos comfortably you may need to up your game and up your pocket yeah see your cheap is jabai ma unga za ugali unga za flour my indian do you need big gali like yo see your see your be raisi for those who have been asking how how much do you really need to survive in lagos you need a lot in lagos majorly the island calls for me as a foreigner it's so it's just so many places that i can go to i went to the market you saw the difference is not there it's actually cheaper if i go to the supermarket but some of the prices is because of my products but it doesn't mean that you don't get to buy them right thank you so much i will see you guys tomorrow let me go and eat i'm so exhausted and my back hurts i think today nearly strain a little so bye bye see you tomorrow hi guys good morning today is um thursday and my face is looking bad um this acne i don't know where it's coming from Ugh, hormones anyway so um my back hurts i think yesterday when i mentioned um i feel like the deadlift uh, is it called deadlift no the hip thrust the ones you do with weight like you have to lift weight when you're doing hip thrust i feel like i overdid mine and now it hurts like crazy i've literally had to put ice on my back with this waist trainer if you're also a youtuber like me and sorry you're a youtuber like me and you are struggling um maybe to get to reach out to people you know when people don't have time they probably just during the week they will brush off brush brush through your content faster but if they have time they are more likely going to watch it to the end which is going to make youtube to recommend your videos more and there's so many things uh, I'll, I'll i think after these two vlogs i will also talk about that and see if i can share a tip or two that has really helped me so let me shower do some skincare attend to some business yes everything is doing well thankfully and then uh i'll see you guys later this is the mask i use this mask i bought it yesterday i've been using i used to use before before my stubborn acne was there and it really worked for stubborn acne so i had to get it because now i feel like my acne is back and bad, so yeah. Um, I cleansed my face before going to shower, so I'm not going to do another cleansing again. And then I also want the whatever ingredients that were there not to go away i want everything to stay there i've washed off but i don't want to scrub right now so everything is set and clean this side is bad bad see me so my face is dry now so i'm just gonna go in with this so doing well until i don't know what i mixed up in my skincare and ikakata Then next up, I want to 
feeling my skin to stay open. Ten minutes to get out of here. And lastly, we finish with this clinic moisturizer. I'm not sure I can feel the effect yet. But once you apply, you feel like the cool feeling. I used, I, I used to have the big Looks um yellowish, greenish. I thought that's how it's supposed to look. It has a sweet smell. This is the La Roche Posay Antelios UV F50 plus SPF. Antioxidants and uh, you will be the ones I don't understand, but it's very high protection against UV light. And I feel like once you do all these things, you need to really be wary of the sun because it can mess up your skin so fast. Anyway, I'm struggling with uh, space. This is the outfit I've chosen to go with and I'm going to try on this uh, Vaseline. It's the new one, it's original. I've not checked but I believe it is because the price is about 13k. It smells like Valon. It smells like those... Uh, all the Vaseline, if you remember, how was it? Just smells there, not bad. You will definitely need a perfume oil to use with this one if you're gonna buy it. But it's nice. I actually wanted to talk about this cortex, I love them, but though they give me PTSD, they remind me of the giving bad days, they are very nice thick heavy and soft you definitely feel nothing down there and then the absorption is very good so especially because they call it night you know things happen at night eh? you wake up you find from a soil bed but this one well it doesn't have the wings you just put it on and then put on your panty you remember the ones in 4c the maternity ones that they give you in hospital <laughs> If you don't buy the maternity pads, panties, pants, these ones, you just, they give you to put it and hold it with your legs. Damn. But anyway, this one is very nice and very soft. It doesn't cause irritation or you feel like you're burning, you know. Like if you are trying to look for somebody, try it. It's this. I'm not paid to do this, but I love it. I love it for you. They are a little bit pricey, I think. But they are worth your penny. <sighs> my Makwapas. It's not make things. I'm not going to put on makeup because I want my skin to be fresh. These are my acne. It's Tabaki Hibo. 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 This is the perfume I'm going with. I love this bottle. Like, anyway, I'm done. This is my outfit of the day. So, <clears throat> my mirror is dirty. I'm an honor to Zango. Anyway, it, it seems dirty, but I don't have that time. Let me head out and I will see you guys when I come back from picking up Ryan. I just thought of dressing nicely to feel good. These other things, is it a I will check them out later. Bye. Hi, guys. So, I just finished recording my tiktok video yes oh, i did a little face bit here and there that's how i look i honestly love this outfit right yeah and i have a little human down here 
but all is well my back hurts like my back is so so painful somewhere over here it hurts like crazy see i hope you can see me now i'm here with a little human <laughs> papa chini but yeah i'm surviving i'm surviving huh what is it i'm surviving so let me sit down and just want to encourage you guys and tell you that um just keep working and take action nothing is impossible if you are into content creation like i'm doing i don't do <laughs> content creation fully really there are other things i do here and there but i love doing it and also creating the memories and my children will get to see it. it's like documenting your life because a few years from today you'll sit back and watch your videos and be like oh i used to look like that oh that was actually me and i'm really trying to put a lot of effort in where are you going uh, yeah uh, one way uh, where uh, huh? where are you going yo yeah, my guys can you see me i hope so so i'm just encouraging you to keep pushing keep working hard in case i don't get to do a haul which i wanted to do um some clothes that i ordered from an instagram shop yeah pretty dope ones but in case i don't get to do that i hope this vlog was not all over the place and if it was i'm so sorry thank you so much for keeping it here and watching and thank you for the love on my previous video watch this one as well like give it a thumbs up it's been a couple of days and um i'm really happy that you guys are walking this journey with me please do not give up keep going like ah to think that i've done youtube for three years but only seriously taken youtube for about eight or nine months that's that's when i realized that i need to take it seriously because after i got pregnant i stopped vlogging and i let uh issue because i didn't i didn't really want to vlog when i was pregnant and it was a difficult pregnancy but now now we are here we are monetized i mean see god it's been a tough three years but we are grateful in god's time in god's time he himself will make it happen i'm here to encourage you do not give up do not despair keep putting it effort keep putting action remember to just be confident but the number one trick of vlogging and making good content is just to be unaware of your environment but aware like you are careful and safe but at the same time you don't care about the energy that some negative people might be sprawling or giving to you i honestly wanted to go to the to balogon market this week but i don't think i can do that given my back pain but all in all bye bye and thank you so much for watching let me not talk too much and see you in the next one bye bye and bye